Hello and welcome to HiFiM. Please like, share and subscribe and help me spread awareness on the rich history of India. Subscribe to my other YouTube channel and follow me on Twitter the handles right in front of you. Let's get started. Kashi, the most powerful state before Buddha. Kashi was located around Varanasi, modern-day Benares. It was bounded by the rivers Varun and Nasi. How do you know that it was one of the most powerful Mahajanpad? As Matsya Purana and Al Biruni have mentioned Kashi far too many times. Kusala, one of the more gifted Mahajanpad. Now you must be wondering why did I call this the most gifted state? Well, if you look at its geographic location, you will understand. It is bounded by the river Ganga in the south, river Narayani in the east and Himalayas in the northern boundary. Kuru, where the Mahabharat began. Kuru was an important part of Mahabharat. It belonged to the Puri Bharat family. They were originally a monarchy but shifted to republic in the 6th century BCE. Magad, one of the most powerful states. Magadha was the most prominent state of the 5th century BC, especially during Ashok the Great's reign. It was established by Bimbisara. They acquired almost the entire subcontinent and were the first empire in the Indian history. Its capital was at Rajgira, later Patliputra. Mallas, one of the few republican Mahajan Pads. It was one of the few Republican Mahajanpad, divided into two parts known as Gana. The capital of one was Kushinagar and the other was Pava. Matsya, also known as Matsya. Matsyas were located in the south of Kurus and west of river Yamuna, located in the present day Rajasthan. Matsya weren't a huge political power, they were once a part of the Chedi kingdom. That's it for this video. Rest of the Mahajan Pads will be uploaded in my other YouTube channel. So please check that out. We upload it after my other videos in the future. Thanks for watching. Next video is on Mauryan Empire. Stay home, stay safe.